Apparently in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you will have three options as to who you will be able to use to play throughout the game. The female Eivor, the male Eivor, and the Animus. As long as it's not the one from AC1 or the movie, I'm cool with that option. While the first two options are self-explanatory, the third option needed a bit more elaboration, if you will. When you choose to let the Animus decide, it will interchangeably switch characters depending on the specific memory sequence you are playing through. In other words, it'll drop in and out of the female and male versions of Eivor depending on your mission. Usually in Assassin's Creed games, we are playing the story through access to memories. But with this option, according to PC Gamer and Fraser Brown, it could be memories or oral and written histories. Now, this obviously isn't the first time we've seen a game where you are playing throughout the story with different characters in which you can seamlessly drop in and out of the different main characters. Hence, GTA V, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Avengers, and so on. What seems to be confusing people is how both characters can possibly be canon if there hasn't been any indication that they're related, like Jacob and Evie Fry or Cassandra and Alexios. I mean, that and the fact that they have the same name is confusing as hell, and it does kind of make you wonder. Apparently, the third option lets the Animus choose who is canon for each memory. So really, the way it supposedly happened was not all of the missions were done by either the female version of Eivor or the male version of Eivor, but instead, different missions were done by either the female version of Eivor or the male version of Eivor. And all those different missions make up the full story of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now, based on pure happenstance, I realized that nobody looked up the name Eivor. Now, people who play games like Assassin's Creed or any game set in historic times should always remember that the story being told is fictional, but the culture isn't. Good developers take a real culture or setting and create a fictional story around it. Now, all of that is to say, I was curious if Eivor was a general term or name that could be given to anyone, like warrior, fighter, detective, protector, viking. According to the meaning, which is wise gift, it technically could be a name given to anyone. But if you see its origin, Eivor was actually generally a name given to women in Scandinavian culture. So the female version of Eivor actually shouldn't be the surprise this time around. And technically, based off the history of the name, she would be the canon character. Now for those of y'all who are upset about there being a female Viking main character, in an action RPG game. In 2020, where the world has been affected by illness, protests, social unrest, businesses being closed, economies taking hits, and a crucial presidential election coming up, I totally understand how that could be at the top of your this bothers me list. I mean, because in comparison to the things I just mentioned, that makes sense. Yeah. Before y'all start bringing up historical accuracy as a defense, there's some real proof that they were female Viking warriors. And y'all know y'all don't give a damn about historical accuracy anyways. I'll tell you what wasn't historically accurate. Vikings rapping. To all those whom I speak, they say Eivor's a clod. Then you're speaking to fools and their knowledge is flawed. How exactly do you go about being successful in one of these? Well, you don't. The sweet sound of cultural appropriation. They sound just like J-Pac and Nas, don't they? I'm not saying that flatting wasn't a real thing. I'm just saying just because you rhyme some words and insult each other does not mean you just rapped or battle rapped. Nah, but seriously though, if you're going to be mad about something, this is pretty corny. But all jokes aside, let's not forget that it is very easy to make an event or character or situation canon. All you have to do is have a dialogue between two or more characters in the next game or the game after for that matter, where they bring up characters or events from Valhalla. Like they don't even have to use the name Eivor. They can make general ass statements. Like, remember when the Vikings stormed Bird Castle to rescue Oswald from Ruid, and they cut that guy's head off in a gruesome battle? And then they had to take out Ruid's attack wolf and spared Ruid because Oswald told them to? See? You just made all of Valhalla canon. Now, don't get me wrong. I agree that it would have been easier to understand if they named the female version of the character Eivor, and they had a different Scandinavian name for the male version of the character. Something like Erli, or Eilif, Erikson, Eggert. Now, I apologize if I butchered the pronunciation of those names. But the point is, Ubisoft, y'all had a lot of options that would have helped us avoid this conversation.